Ease Address is a software that allows the modeling of distributed loudspeaker systems in two dimensions. The following is a brief introduction and tutorial. To begin, we'll import a drawing from AutoCAD of a small ballroom. Before doing so, we prepared the drawing by adding dimensions for the length and the width. Using a print screen from Windows, we can import our drawing into ease address. Now the dimension data was important because we're going to use our markers in ease address to tell ease the size of the room, 22 meters. We'll also give the room a name, specify the ceiling height, and our loudspeaker network, whether it being low impedance, 70 volt, or 100 volt. Next, we'll have to draw a prediction plane around our room. We do this by moving the markers around. And we'll just tweak those guys over here a little bit. Like so. From here we'll go to auto arrange and we'll select our loudspeaker in the tap setting. Maybe we want to put say six loudspeakers in each room. So we can go ahead and use ease to automatically get us as close as possible and then delete what we don't want. Okay, from here we'll go ahead and do our first prediction. You can see down here the calculated percentage level. There are four levels that it'll predict. We can also go to view distribution graph. You can also look at the frequency response by placing cursors. From here, maybe we want to investigate a different loudspeaker. Maybe we want some more low frequency information. So again, we can change this to a CMS 12 30 watt tap. And again, we'll go with six loudspeakers per room. And here we can see the low frequency rise from using the 12 over the 6 inch. Okay, it's a little bit of an improvement. We'll also add another room with the corridor and the restrooms. So we can do a right click, start new room here, and we can just draw right on top of the original print screen that we used. Now if we go to our layout images, we can actually select copy from ballroom one. So these will share the same background image. We can give this a name, pre-function, give it a room height of 5 meters, stay with 70 volt, and go to our auto range. Now auto range 
just going to put a lot of loudspeakers in here, but we're going to delete some of those. So we'll go with the 501 at, uh, say, a 15 watt tap. And from here, we can edit what loudspeakers we want to keep and what we want to throw away. Okay, something similar to that. Now again we can do a prediction and it'll do both rooms. Now that we've created our room layout, we can double check the loudspeaker list. Over here it shows a power consumption of 540 watts, total of 18 loudspeakers it's for the ballroom and then 15 loudspeakers for the pre-function area consuming 225 watts. One thing you want to do if you add a loudspeaker, you want to double check that the wattage is the same as the previous loudspeakers. That's something that the program won't do automatically for you. Now that we've completed both of our predictions, we'll go ahead and lay out our distribution graph and we'll zoom all the way out I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse. And we'll go to File, Create Print Version. And we'll just save that to our desktop. Now the reason I zoomed it out on the distribution graph is that when the print version is created, that same graph will be used in the report. The report will show all the direct coverage. It will show the original drawing that was imported into, into address and give a brief introduction for the document.